Answer their prayer by fire. Voices from the grave calling my name. Damn! Every affliction in that your body is rooted out now. You will shine. Darkness may cover the earth or cross darkness the people. Because Christ is in you, you are in him. You will shine for the whole world to see. And I'm saying the Bible says, I give you power. Where is it now? Everything that does not work and it continues and remains so, they are powered by altars. It's time to deal with it. Is someone ready tonight? The first thing we are going to do right now, please listen, no distraction. Please, don't allow the devil distract you. We are working with time. In the next two or three minutes, you are going to cry. A, we are going to do a corporate prayer of repentance before God. Don't be too proud, oh. You are going to cry before the God of it. You don't have to lie down or whatever. Whatever position is comfortable. Not as an act of condemnation. Genuinely before the God of heaven. And say, Lord, I am standing in repentance. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways some of you need to pray on behalf of your children on behalf of your husband on behalf of your wife lord i take the responsibility of priesthood there are men of god who need to stand on behalf of their congregations there are business ceos that need to stand on behalf of their corporations lord we plead mercy over every altar of sin and iniquity that is empowering every other negative altar death delays retrogression stagnation please pray god is giving you a chance those following from your homes following by way of television or internet when a moment of deep brokenness and repentance a broken and a contrite heart oh god thou will not despise mercy oh god mercy oh god give me psalm 51 while you are praying i'm going to be reading for you psalm 51 please give us psalm 51 while we pray have mercy on me oh god according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression verse 2 please hurry up wash me thoroughly from my iniquity cleanse me from my sin for i acknowledge my transgression my sin is ever before me against thee thee only have i sinned and done this evil in your sight verse 4 that thou mightest be justified please give us verse 4 we're not done when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest verse 5 behold i was shaped in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden parts shalt thou make me to know wisdom aha uh -huh. Purge me with high soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out my iniquities. Verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And behold me with a, and uphold me with a free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways. 
and sinners shall be converted to thee deliver me from blood guiltiness O god thou god of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness O lord open thou my lips and my mouth shall speak forth your praise for thou desirest not sacrifice else i would have given it thou desirest not in bond offering thou delightest not in bond offering the sacrifices of god are a broken spirit and a contrite heart O god thou shall not despise next verse do good in thy good pleasure unto zion build thou the walls of jerusalem someone is praying then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness with bond offerings and whole bond offerings then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar lift your voice in one minute you are praying for yourself pray for your organization lord i found out the reason behind these consistent plagues consistent pain consistent delay consistent retrogression consistent failure consistent sickness shabrende ke balaka tos koto brande le ka bariata shagete bas messi messi in the name of jesus messi we come boldly to the throne of grace we obtain mercy and we find grace to help in time of need mercy for nigeria mercy for our regions mercy for koinonia mercy for every family here mercy for every business mercy for every captain of industry every politician every head of parliament every professional mercy for our children mercy for those who have gone ahead of us in the name of jesus prayer point number two as for me and my house lord i agree with you this day that i will serve the lord no other name no other god no other force no other influence someone is praying please pray whether you come from Lagos, whether you come from Plateau State, from Kaduna State, from Maiduguri, from Enugu, Anambra, Cross River, Port Harcourt, it does not matter whether you are from the FCT. Lord, as for me and my house, I dissociate myself from the ordinances of idols. Someone is praying. I dissociate myself from the worship of deities fraternities with gods that are not the true god i declare that as for me and my family i worship the one true god jesus the son of the living god it doesn't matter what shrine you went to it doesn't matter what the fathers did lord we pray as a nation Lord, we pray as a region. As for me and my house, as for me and this ministry, someone pray. As for me and my children, pray. As for me and my wife, as for me and my husband, as for me and my corporation. outside make sure you are praying all the overflows as for me and my house we will live for jesus we will serve the lord pastors pray as for me and the vision god has given me no consulting mediums 
no consulting powers no consulting shrines it is jesus only jesus ever jesus only jesus ever as the source of power as the source of revelation as the source of illumination no bribery no corruption pastors pray no manipulating members sincerity of truth loving them and serving them In the name of Jesus. Now, don't be tired. We are still praying. Right now, on legal basis, you are going to pray and declare that every altar that he that told has had any legal grounds on your life, the blood is against it. He said, we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb. Someone open your mouth and begin to decree. In the name of Jesus, the blood of the everlasting covenant is against altars of untimely death pray you know what alters by the patterns in your life call it by name and cause it by the god of heaven operations of poverty operations of failure at the edge of breakthrough visitations of wicked spirits molesting you that every i said they are prayer by fire Voices from the grave calling my name. Damn! Every affliction in that your body is rooted out now. You will shine. Darkness may cover the earth or cross darkness the people. Because Christ is in you, you are in Him. You will shine for the whole world to see. And I'm saying the Bible says, I give you power. Where is it now? 